Hey, this is Alex from STEM Fuse. We've been working hard behind the scenes to bring you some out of this world updates to our Game It and Game It Junior courses. So whether you're new to Game It or a STEM Fuse superhero, this video is for you. We're going to take a look at what's new, how to use it, and what's coming soon. Let's begin with the content in the Start unit in Educate. Simply scroll down and click on the Start Here folder. In this folder, you'll find a course teacher's guide, pacing guide, course standards, information for support services, and so much more. This is the ideal place to begin before teaching the course or if you want to see how to get started with your class. Check back into this folder to see new content throughout the year. Next, let's dive into how the course is organized. Each course is organized into units and from there, break down into lessons, activities, and projects. Each unit contains a teacher's guide, learn lessons and their corresponding activities, and additional activities, assessments, and more. Looking for answer keys? You'll find it in the Teacher Resources folder. Ah yes, the teacher's guide. This received a major makeover and includes everything from a helpful table of contents to a pacing guide, lesson overviews, and more. Be sure to take a look at this information-packed resource for helpful ideas, frequently asked questions, and ways to contact us if you need any assistance. This beautiful teacher's guide will take you from start to finish throughout each unit of the course. On to lessons, activities, and projects. Lessons or learn activities can be utilized in whole class instruction or by the students themselves using their own computers. Each learn lesson begins with an essential question that gets students thinking from the start. We know you'll love the new look and interactivity in the form of polls, quizzes, and gamified learning content. Now, let's head over to an activity to get a feel of how to use them. It's simple. If you'd like your students to submit their work virtually, go to the File menu and click Make a Copy. Now, each student can share their work with their teacher when they're done. Once you've checked that out, head over to Unit 3 and take a look at the revamped Build Game Lessons. We've added videos, endless screenshots, and leveled content to break up instruction for students. These updated games will provide improved instruction for students and teachers alike. It's time for some assessments. You can find all student assessments in the Assessments folder in each unit. We've incorporated standards-based grading into our assessments and created a brand new pre-test, post-test option for classrooms. And because we love our teachers, we added a student learning objective spreadsheet to measure teaching effectiveness and student progress. Simply plug in student pre-test and post-test scores to quickly measure their progress and areas of improvement as they align with your state's and national standards. Whew, that was just a glimpse. Now let's take a sneak peek at what's coming next to a Game It near you. We're going to continue to improve our existing content as well as add debugging and enhancement activities, arts integration, additional game competitions, bonus build projects, and ideas inspired by you. Send us your ideas for how we can make Game It even better for your classroom. All right, let's come back down to earth. We know you're going to love the new Game It Junior and Game It updates. If you still have questions, feel free to attend an online training or email us to learn more about the new updates and how to get started.